Hi, Mrs. B here. Hey, we've been working on some different projects in my class and we wanted to show you what we did with Pull Together to Build a Better Sled. First, we got the lesson from this year 2013's teacher on the trail, Linda Fenton, and she created this lesson. We used one small paper plate, three by three piece of tin foil, two straws, four rubber bands, and one paper clip and with those supplies, the students in my class had to design a sled that we could try out. And so here's some of the approaches we used. And Jerry, explain to me your plan here. All right, so I see you're both drawing different diagrams on your paper, and then you're going to put those diagrams together to see if they so to make one sled. Nice idea. Cool. Thank you. It doesn't need to heal down right now. That was needed. It was placid. This is actually turning out good. Okay, this looks uh, actually good. Do you want to tell me about your sled? Sure. Well, we use. We just took the straws, bent the tops of them, put it below. It's not really holding down because of the rubber band. We just folded our tin foil up and put it in the front for like the basket part. The edges keep popping up, so we're just trying to fix that. That's about all we're doing. Right how now. are you, what do you think? How are you gonna try to figure out how to fix that? Maybe take off a few rubber bands. Mm. Do we have to use all the we used our paper clip to hold the tin foil down? Do we need to use all the rubber bands? I don't think so. And then we can put another one. So we just need to double this up. Thank you. We're gonna that up. Oh, okay. I want you to It can bend. Tell us about your sled. Well, our sled we used for our we made our tin foil into a basket for our Unifix cubes. Then we hold, held the tin foil on with a paper clip in the front, and we strapped it to our two straws, which are the skis. Um, our sled we put tin foil on the bottom, and we have a little protection thing right there, so the cube won't fall out. Get set, go. <laughs> <laughs> This sled was designed for speed. It has a little sleeper for the two Unifix cubes, which has a basket to hold them in. And literally the straws are to catch, to catch air. We made this little person, and we made a little thing for like anything that gets hurt, and also for the Unifix cubes. Then we made the straws like on the bottom so it might go fast. Because the straws are slippery. Okay, get it ready, Caleb. Okay, ready? On your marks, get set, go. Oh. Yay! We put a little, uh, we got our paper plate and we folded it up. Then we got our uh, paper clip and stabbed some holes. So Trent, and then Trent tied up, tied some rubber bands to keep it tight, 
and then we put the Unifix cube in, <laughs> Unifix cubes inside it, and on the bottom are the two straws, and we rubber banded <laughs> them there, and it's called the snowshoe. It's called the snowshoe. Okay. Taco sled. Uh, hey, tell me about it. Uh, we folded the paper and we used and we used the tin foil to like give it more support. And we used the we used the Unifix cube as gear to hold it steady. Emily and Riley. This is our sled. We strapped on the um, straws as runners, and we also strapped on the Unifix cubes, and we paper clipped the tin foil on the bottom so it'll go smooth. On your marks, get set. We called the mini sled. We put it the straws on the bottom so it could go faster. And, we, and if it also sits on the bottom, if that can set to the side, side, we can use that. The tip, we could use that. So. Okay, let's give it a go. Careful. Uh, try it again. Push it a little bit. Did it slide? Did it slide like you thought it would? No.